I want to show you three quick ways of doing um, x-rays in Blender. So I've got three sort of canisters here and I've got a different material on each of these. And I think if I was going to do an x-ray, um, let's say you were modeling a sci-fi scene or a medical scene and you wanted, you know, an x-ray monitor or on a computer screen and you wanted an image of an x-ray um, and and you were doing sort of an organic type thing uh, or something with rounded edges this one has has a lot of sort of rounded edges with subdivision surface or you have had maybe a skull in there or an organic creature let's say you were looking at a cell or a um, some kind of organic thing under an electron microscope a scanning electron microscope I would probably go for this one. It looks the most realistic um, as as an X-ray of that type. All right, um, so that's good for your typical X-ray, and of course you can tweak the settings a little bit as well. Uh, this one is interesting, I find, for um, architectural style, you know, schematic diagrams. Uh, maybe you have an image of an object like this. Or something else um, with some labels on it that could be a poster on a wall or still it could be on a, com a computer screen um, and this one I like a lot for hard surface as, as I'll show you um, in just a second so uh, with respect to say organic stuff this is not the best organic stuff but something quick you can see that the first method looks a little bit more like you know, a microscope, a scanning electron microscope image or you know, x-ray of that. This one doesn't look too good for this object or, or this one for this object. Um, however, when it comes to stuff like this, let's say, um, I like, for the hard surface, I like this, this one here. And I'll show you how to improve that a little bit with line style. Or free, sorry, freestyle uh, as well. The first, the first method uh, doesn't work that well on the hard surface stuff, and neither does the second one. Uh, although it could be okay, and you can make the lines a little bit thicker. But I really like this effect, so I'm gonna show you something else in a minute. But let me show you how, how uh, I did this. So let's just grab these cylinders again. All right, and um, I'll show you them over here. So this is for the first x-ray technique, okay? All it is is I've replaced the principal BSDF with a typical mix shader, transparent BSDF and emission BSDF in the first slot and the second, default values, and then a layer weight. And the way that you get to that is shift A, input, layer weight, and then take the facing output into the FAC and I've used a value of 0 0.2. I'll change that and show you that effect uh, in a minute. But that's how you got that typical uh, one right here. So if I come in here and I go into the shading tab, you can see that's exactly what I've got here. Now, uh, you can, of course, change colors if you want to. You know, if that's your, if that's your thing. If I change the blend from 0 0.2 can see what happens here okay so I pretty much settled on 0 0.2 for that one all right so that is how to achieve the first very you know sort of typical x-ray kind of look for the second one which is more of like a, a line drawing type thing all right and it works pretty good on these rounded surface surfaces and what you want is you want stuff on the outside and stuff on the inside so for example this thing is on the inside so I've got an outer core and I've got the inner and I'll just show you what that looks like here that's this is all it, all it is okay and if I hide that I've got this I probably could could have smoothed that but, mm, I'll come over here with an angle at any rate that's what that is okay so to do that one it's this 
So I've got a principal BSDF. I haven't done anything to change that in the material output. There's an RGB node, and if you can't find that, just come over here, hit the space bar, and go RGB, and just choose this one. Okay, that's all it is. I brought this all the way up. And connect that to the base color and to emission. If I change this, I can get different colors. Okay, now below down here, I have a Fresnel node. And the way you find that is Shift A, input, Fresnel. And by the way, there's the layer weight. If you can't remember that, just do this go Fresnel. Okay, do the same thing. You can see that I've got a value of 0 0.95 here. If I adjust this, I can get sort of a similar effect to the first case. Okay. And I've got a color ramp going into a math node, which is power. And I'll show you the settings for the color ramp. So that's Shift A, convert color ramps. So there's your typical color ramp. What you do is you, you slide these to the opposite ends, like that, and click on the white, and then drag the alpha here, A, down to zero. Okay, that's the exact same thing there. And then I've connected that into power. I've got clamp on and exponent. I've got 1.2. You can play with this, and I'm holding down shift so it moves a bit slower so you can see what that does, but that's that's that. All right, so it, it works nicely for these layered objects that have one inside the other uh, with some details uh, for a sort of a schematic line drawing. The third one, which is kind of my favorite, especially for, like I say, for hard surface, is this very very simple mix shader with transparent and emission just like the first case mix shader transparent and emission I changed the colors though just to make it look a little bit different on sort of a bluish and a purple and layer weight again but instead of using the facing to the fac the Fresnel to the fac all right and a blend mode here or a blend value of 0.12 is what I settled on and so I'll show you that okay there it is as you can see and if I adjust the blend I get this okay so I want to come back and have a look at those suitcases once again okay so if I select that you can see those are the values that I used the exact same nodes all right and I put a book inside there and a little bolt and it's interesting as you turn around it looks like the bolt is moving now depending on how you place your camera the lighting uh, can either work for you or not work for you. So let's have a look um, with one of these cameras here. Uh, I'll do a quick render in Eevee. All right, so I'm in Eevee. Whether or not we turn on any of this stuff is not really that important, but I'll go in Eevee. I'm just using uh, 120. I don't even think I have any noise reduction on. Let's just hit F12. And I like Eevee for this, although it works in cycles, because I'm not going for a realistic look. I'm going for sort of an artistic kind of a look. Um, for this model, again, this somewhat hard surface, I prefer this this bluish one. All right, this the third x-ray method. Although this one looks kind of cool, and this one is kind of washed out. Um, I'll look at quick uh, renders of the cylinder let's switch my camera all right so let's let's just quickly render that in Eevee nice and fast 
All right, so again, this one looks like your standard x-ray, although these two do look quite cool. And then if I wanted to do a quick render of these things, they'll pretty much look the same. Okay. All right, again, this one for sure for this kind of a thing, and these ones definitely not. All right, now, um, let's come back to the suitcases. Um, another thing that you can do is you can use freestyle with this. Oh, is it here? Freestyle, click on that. So once I've enabled that here under the render properties, I come down to the layer properties and I click in freestyle and now I can make some changes and all I'm going to do here is on color down here, you click on here and I've just set it to a slightly blue color. That's going to create some lines that are slightly blue. I didn't want them to default black and for thickness, I think it defaulted to three, I think. Or maybe it was one anyway I've got it on one so I've just changed that so color and thickness all right so these ones should all be activated okay if I then look through the camera and I press F12 it'll give me the image but wait it's doing something and there you see it's drawn in these lines that add to it so it gives it a cartoony look so I really like this um, this one here and this one looks pretty good this one is getting better all right if we have a look at my other camera and uh, let's say the cylinders oops, and turn these off with freestyle on do I have freestyle on yes all right let's let's take a look at those there they are and then freestyle Okay, it didn't really do too much in this particular case. It's barely noticeable. All right, so it's it's much nicer uh, with the suitcases. And again, you're not going to see that until you until you render. All right, so we could make a quick change to this. Um, I can change the thickness. I'll put two, and I'll put the color. I'll go for just white, bright white, just to see a, a little bit of a difference if we can. So there it is, and then it'll do the freestyle right there. Okay, so you can adjust that. So um, I don't, I don't like it like that, but one is okay. There. So for an, you know, an artistic kind of thing. And the final thing I'll show you is uh, I actually applied it to everything here. And I've got freestyle on with a light blue um, color to it. And I think a line thickness of one. And I just thought it, it, it made a nice, uh, a cool kind of shiny, kind of a cartoony look. Uh, what I was uh, originally going for was I was creating like an x-ray machine. And I was going to have the x-ray on here and these were all going to be different materials and I said I don't really feel like doing a bunch of materials uh, for this tutorial uh, what happens if I put this on everything and and that's what I came up with so you can get some interesting artistic effects um, it might look better on just single objects or like I say um, like this particular one I, I probably wouldn't display in a computer screen like in a in a lab scene you've got your computer and on the computer screen is an image with one of these x-ray shaders on a, on an object uh, you might do that but I don't know how well that will work whereas the other x-ray materials might look good as a poster or on a computer screen so just something to mess around with um, three different methods to do x-rays